gardeners, you can go f yourself. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Welcome to the Johnny Hope World Cut Show, where today I actually have Vice President Marlon J. Duke here. And the first thing I want to ask you, Mr. Duke, what are your thoughts on the recent robbery of TV remote that took place just last week at your facility? Well, Johnny, I mean, let's get the obvious part out of the way. It is absolutely imperative that we get these TV remotes back. They are far too dangerous to be out there. And to top it all off, I've heard rumors that people are dealing these remotes on the streets. So the fact that they're in the hands of random citizens is scary to say the least. I mean, if the gardeners had their hands on these, I wouldn't be surprised if they haven't already. I mean, come on. You think they're really just delivering plants? It's obvious they're hiding something. So you think the gardeners are delivering remotes? Knowing them, there's a good chance. Interesting, but I have to ask, and I don't know if I'm asking too much here, but who do you think stole the remotes? Your guess is as good as mine, Johnny. But I've heard conspiracy say Tobias Dolis is the head of the crime That's system. reaching, Johnny. Tobias Dolis betrayed us, sure, but he created the remotes. Why would he go out of his way to steal his own creation? I mean, yeah, we definitely consider Tobias as the culprit, but when you take all that into account, it doesn't make sense. But in a world as chaotic as it is now, anything is possible. <laughs> Vice President. Well, hello, everyone. This is your Vice President of the Above here, Marlon J. Duke. And as of recently, I've been receiving a lot of mail saying that people are feeling lonely, depressed, like my friend here. But no more. 
I have his back. The above has his back. Like we always say, boys and girls, if you're feeling down, look up. Because before you know it, you'll rise above what holds you below. And always remember, kids, the above is your best friend. So treat us like one. Because if you go against us, we'll go against you. The gardeners are here. Hello, everybody. I am the pollinator, the leader of the gardeners. I don't want to take too much of your time, but your vice president is fucking dead. Remember this guy? The man who promises a brighter days in the soundscape. Want to spark more fire. What a fucking joke. On another note, I heard a rumor that Johnny Hamilton was murdered by the above. Isn't that funny? The only one who risked his image for us, and he's fucking dead. So I have to go bigger. We'll kill the above of the above. Your light bringer, the architect of destruction, the creator of this, your version of control. I'm sure you all know who I'm talking about, of course. Our next victim shall be <clears throat> Tobias Tolis, the one who destroyed the world and just walked away free. He will pay for his sins. The above falls today. <clears throat> the gardeners are coming. <clears throat> the gardeners are coming. Crazy, isn't it? You build something from the ground up only for it to get taken away from you. <laughs> Makes you wonder, what's the point? Let that be a reminder to you, my friend, there are no creators in this world. <sighs> only consumers. So what does that make you then? I am. What about you? I'm here. See, that's your problem, boy. You, you fail to see the bigger picture. You simply lack perspective. <laughs> Dr. 
Don't mind him. He couldn't handle it. Sure I could? Oh, yeah, sure. Speaking of which... Choice is all yours. I utilize my connections. Once the trust goes out the window, fire goes with it. So, basically, you stole these. They stole these things from us first. Well, these things are people's lives. Yeah, no shit. I'm doing you a huge favor right now. I'm your sacrificial supplier. I'm supplying you with freedom. That's what you wanted, right? Freedom? No, I did. I did you a favor. A favor that would get us both killed. Look, I'm doing this to end your suffering. Our suffering. You? Suffering? You know nothing about me. You're right. I don't know much about you. I just don't understand how someone like you could get their hands on someone like this. You all have more power than you think. You just fail to utilize it. I still don't understand. There's not much I can do to help you with that. The above feeds on mindsets like yours until you're worth nothing. How much you got? One man? I'd imagine you'd come prepared. I haven't even picked which one I want yet. Doesn't matter. They're all the same. Same idea. Same fate. Well, in that case, how about this? Not that one. You what? put that one back. Can't afford it. Why? Well, but how do you know? Put it back in the bag. I have all the money you need. It's not about the money. It's more than that. You said that you were the supplier, supplying me with what I need. Uh, I know what I said. Don't throw that you're the consumer bullshit back at me. Bullshit, you said- I know what I said, damn it! I didn't lie to you. The above had their way. Everyone here, nothing, gone, worthless. You said I could handle it. You lied? It's risky. I can take it. <laughs> oh, look at you. You think you're so brave. So did he. I didn't lie to you, but I didn't want you to suffer needlessly. Suffer? So that's your idea of freedom. Suffering? What's life without a little suffering? Oh, we got another bad reaction. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Johnny Humblecut Show. Welcome back to the Johnny Humble Cut Show, presented by the Crossroads Network. I'm your host, the Johnny Humble Cut. Pleasure to have you tuning into our show here in studio. We have a very special guest joining us today. Here at the couch, we have Mr. Tobias Dolis. Toby, how are you doing tonight? 
I'm doing well, Johnny. It's good to be here. Now, thank you for joining me on my show. And we talked about this, and it's kind of my attention. You have a position with the above. You worked for them for many years, correct? Yes, uh, straight out of elementary school. And now, in your position, uh, I want to know, my viewers want to know, is working with them for many years. This might be a bit of a touchy subject, but what are your thoughts on those gardeners? Well, you see, Johnny, the, these gardeners, they're really nothing to be worried about. You know, was, they can piss off for all I care. I mean, we're talking about a bunch of hippies running around town delivering plants. And let me tell you, you can rest assured, the above is doing everything they can to make sure that you can just enjoy a nice evening without anyone dropping off a petunia at your door, you know? So we, let me get, let me get this straight. We have an issue and you're saying delivering plants is a crime? <laughs> well, no, John. But the fact is that these guys view themselves as rebels, right? You know, they, they view themselves as the, the, the below. But, uh, you see, they're, they're fighting a cause that doesn't exist. There, there's nothing to fight against. It's like punching the air. So, and let me tack on to that, Johnny, if I might. That there are no consumers in this world. Only creators. What does that make you, then? Well, I'm here, talking to you. <laughs> and right you are now. Many people, though, believe that being controlled, the idea of that could provoke fear. Well, I can understand why people might think that, Johnny. But I, I have to emphasize that these remotes were designed with the attention, the, the intention, sorry, of giving you free will of your will, if you will. Um, does that make sense? Now, I understand it more here, and my viewers, they, they, however, they don't want to, in this case then, suffer at the hands of their own will. Mm. Well, what are your thoughts on that? What's life without suffering? Famous talk show host Johnny Humblecut was found dead last night in his bus. Dangerous shit to be messing with. Don't 
Don't worry about him. We will get him fixed. So who was he? Some random guy. Nah. Him. Who? Oh, him? He works with the above. They manufacture the product used to control the life of everybody that lives in this town. He went against them and in turn, they supplied those same victims with the curse that was bestowed upon us. Don't worry, we're here to help. Look, take this. One day, it will bloom.
former engineer of the above Tobias Dolas was presumed dead today after an altercation with a squad of gardeners at the alley. However, his body was never found. 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 found.